So today we trying something a little bit different, man. We mixing the old with the new, the new old technology with the new technology. So make sure y'all hit that like button because this thing right here was not cheap. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. If y'all don't know what this is, man, this is my pen pad type joint where I can I can control stuff. I can uh I can do the X's and O's and all of that good stuff. This is just my pad, man. This is my pad, my pal, all that good stuff. And it wasn't cheap. Okay, so if you haven't been watching my defensive tutorial videos and all that good stuff, man, you are missing out. Also, if you don't do nothing else, make sure you like the video and comment pad down below. Because if you do that, today we are giving away a $50 gift card, uh, $50 gift card, $50 in VC, $50 in cash out, whatever y'all want, man. And if you don't got 2K, I will buy you 2K because that's the kind of guy that I am. And with all that being said, good morning out there in 2K land. Y'all thought that I was done with the giveaways also. Another thing that we're doing, if we can average 10K views on each video at uh, this month, we just want to average it. Ain't got every video don't have to hit 10K, and we are on track to do that. Make sure y'all do that. Y'all like up the streams and all of that good stuff. We are going to be giving away at the end of the month an Xbox Series X or a PlayStation console. Whatever next-gen console you want, that's what I'm going to get. And one of y'all are going to win that joint. All you got to do is like the video and comment down below. Pad. And that's it, man. So, yesterday, we were talking about the boy Chris Smooth, man. And uh, I think I might have been a little bit too harsh on it, man. I, I, I felt like he was being a little bit extreme. But at the same time, I don't disagree with him. Now, he just says, you know, he was talking about which play gets to steal but the part that I was harping on was the was the this uh let's talk about this perfect steel system that doesn't need to be changed or what have you I just felt like that's a bit bit extreme because we know nothing in this world is perfect we know that there's always room for improvement we've always been told that you know nothing's perfect perfect practice makes perfect all that good stuff but we know that you can't get there so I feel like the biggest issue that everybody's having is not necessarily the steals but how the game expresses the steals and when you're a programmer or something like that bro y'all have have no idea how difficult it is for the devs and the programmers to go in there and say okay when this hat and under the day it's like they got I don't even know if you would express it as an if then statement but let's just do it because that's the simplest for me to explain if they say if you do this the vulnerability of the ball is this and so when he presses the if somebody and so another if then statement on top of that if they press X here or square here then you're gonna lose the ball now once it does that, they have to put you into, if it says, yes, you, you satisfied all the conditions, they have to put you into an animation that lets you get the ball stolen from you. And when that happens, you it may be after another animation has already started, it may be in the middle of something else, and thus, they may have to put you into another animation just like when you dunk on somebody and it like used to uh, NBA 2K21 next gen when it would pull them from the corner and dunk. It's, it says a contact dunk is going to happen. So you're going to get some goofy animations. I think that's a lot of people's biggest issue is like the person satisfied the conditions on their screen, but because you're seeing two different things because, uh, you know, you're playing across the country, across the world, and you know, it's lagging or what have you, then the expression is going to be a little bit different. That's why I think you probably get some truer expressions when you're playing my career or what have you. But even that's going to be hard because the game is so animation based and it has to be that we, we just not always going to like what we see when we see something. And that's the same thing with jump shots and all this stuff. You're like, dang, I thought I got there, but the ball was already gone. That ball gone, player. So, you know, I think I don't know if that's what our biggest issue is or what. Are y'all mad? Y'all let me know down in the comment section. Are we mad at the steals themselves or the expressions thereof? Expression thereof? Because man, I ain't gonna lie, it do make you look like a bitch when you get the ball stole on this game. I ain't gonna lie, you hear and say, "Hey," and then he just died. And it's, just, it's crazy, man. But you know, here what it is. Also, I want to revisit what my boy Cooley Yard mind said. He said, "99 steal equals uh is steal everything below ball handling." The same logic applies with the threes, and I totally agree with this. This is one of the things that I never have agreed with when people would say something is absolute. Like we said, nothing is perfect, but also nothing is absolute. 99 uh, steel, people think because they, they really think this, and you would think that I'm playing, but the oh, look at what the OG Grandmaster Sensei was saying, NPC players. The dude saying, so if I have a 99 steel, I shouldn't get my uh, I shouldn't get my 10 steals a game. That's BS, but yet you can sit behind the screen like last year and spam Dribble moves 24/7. If you have all, if you have all them uh, get open badges, aka.
playmaking badges and you still need a screen every time delete the game simple and come and come put uh come get put in this box it's the same thing i was saying with banner when banner was like look look check it out check it out right here look at this steal right here right me and gambit normally only reach look i, I just wanted to be able to uh do this right here so boom the dude is right here he's it's a it's solid it, he's playing him solid right he knows that he's getting ready to cross this ball over so all he's gonna do is reach right here and you're gonna see like right here this is almost a perfect expression if we could get stuff like this every time well yeah okay so then okay it was a little bit different so he's in this hand balls here gambit's hand is perfectly lined up and then he's gonna try to cross it over and then he's gonna get the steal right boom look at that look at that if we could get stuff like that to express itself every single time, I don't think anybody would have a real issue. But there's some people that are probably mad at that steal right there itself. The whole point that I'm trying to make is, I feel like, just like, just like I was saying with Chris Move, I don't feel like anything is perfect. And I, I do feel like we need to do, something needs to be done, but I don't know what. But we saw what, what when you're saying just buff it or nerf, buff this or nerf that, we saw what that count that happens that causes to happen last year. We seen it. So with that being the case, here's another one right here. Look, look, he was just in a bad situation right here. I feel like, like, like dude comes. Nah, yeah, this is a great, this is a great example. So dude was like, like dribbling into people's chest and stuff like that. That's not, that's not real. This is just a bump steal. So this is what y'all mom was talking about when he, when he was saying like position steals. And I agree with it. Position steals and stuff like that didn't even have to reach. All it was was. And then he probably has some options on this play too. So look, check it out, bam. Well, he didn't have any options, so he couldn't pass it. I got him, I'm playing my leverage, and then he's going, he's just going to literally just dribble right into me for some inexplicable reason. I don't even have to reach. You see my adrenaline bar didn't go down at all. So I didn't reach, that, that's how you can prove you didn't reach, boom. He just ran into me, like, I, I don't know, I don't know what's supposed to happen in those situations. So like I said, I don't know if we get mad at what happens or the expression of, of, of how they express it. But like I said, I do agree with Chris Move. Nothing, it, something does need to be done because the system is not perfect. But ne but just because the system is not perfect doesn't mean something always needs to be done. But I, I just feel like, yes, there is room for improvement, but how are we going to improve it? I don't want to improve it by just buffing uh, if they just buff unpluggable, I could probably deal with that, but then we're going to need a buff to clamps also. But they can't just say, and, and it's got to be gold and Hall of Fame unpluggable, because I don't think silver unpluggable is a big deal. Silver on Hall of Fame glove, uh, y'all let me know what y'all think about that. But at the same time, I don't think anything is absolute either. And just because you got 99, I don't even know what happened there, but I want to I want to go back and look at it. Just because you got 99, um, yeah, here's, here's one right here. I can tell he just dribbled in the traffic. Like, like right here he's dribbling in the traffic you're already bracketed bro you, you bracketed bro there's you got no business being in here and you know brute you know brute is about to reach on that so I, like i like I don't, I don't know i don't know what they expect to do and then you see the way that it, that it expresses itself he it's that's that's a steal that's three people in that area anytime you're in a cluster like this right here bro you're gonna lose the ball. I don't care what it is, and that's 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 real basketball too. You don't see people dribbling through double teams and stuff like that a lot either. But like I said, it's the expression of it. I think that a lot of people get mad at. Nothing is absolute, but also nothing is perfect. So just because it's perfect doesn't mean it needs to be changed. But when things, but it's not absolute either. Nothing should be absolute. Just because I got a 99 steal, I shouldn't hit. All, I shouldn't get all the steals every single time. Just because I got a 99 three. I shouldn't hit uh I shouldn't hit all my threes just because I got a 99 block and 99 interior doesn't mean I should stop everything in the interior because we do make mistakes with positioning and things like that. So that's my official position on it. I think there is room for improvement, but I don't know that in the confines of the game that we currently have if those changes can be made. But I will say this, I don't think anybody can disagree that you got to be able to get bumpier, especially bumpier than last year if they do take the, uh if they do tone down the steals and take them away because the steals themselves are not uh, uh, like it's just the fear of the steal of the fear of somebody stealing the ball that keeps people from doing certain things now if that fear is gone then it's gonna go they're gonna go wild uh also Swanze says what if people just said every time someone told them told the truth about zens and real player percentage they definitely uh what if somebody said adjust every time someone told truth the truth about zens or real player percentage there's definitely strats to beat uh to beat zens easier and there definitely are 
and we adjusted and we did beat them. And you might as well say they did. I, I replied to that. I said, you might as well say they did because they I'm sure didn't patch it. Not in those games. Real player percentage was out there. We complained about it. They didn't patch it. And our Zins was out there. We complained about it. They couldn't patch it. But one thing you can rest assured that we did do, we smacked everybody we played unless it was a, an extreme circumstance. We we smacked pretty much everybody we played that had Zins. 2K21 current Zins, we literally almost didn't lose. So I understand what he's saying. Uh, up next, then we got the boy Black Cobra, man. Black Cobra, one of the coolest old heads in the game. That boy says, people just think that they should have the ball, they should never have the ball stolen from them under any circumstances. When there's avenues, they can go down to make it uh, to make it possible almost to refute, I mean, to refuse to, I mean, they refuse to invest in it. It is what it is, I accept it. I agree with that, man, it is what it is. People don't want it in the game. Um, that's where we at with it. I'm, I, I, like I said, I, I'm gonna adjust to whatever they do. I just don't feel like I just don't want to have to adjust to this again. But I'm gonna adjust to whatever they do because we dropping content all day, all year this year. We're dropping the 2K heat every day of the week this year, man. I ain't gonna lie to y'all, man. I'm on the grind like no other. Make sure y'all hit the like button for the grind, man, because hey, look, y'all can't nobody say, you can say I'm trash, you can say I'm a fucking bot, you can say I'm the most garbage 2K player, but you can't say I ain't been grinding this year, so you know what it is. Speaking of grinding, actually, Power, uh, Power says, I wanna make a new build with super high steel. But I have a feeling steals will be patched soon in NBA 2K23. And we already know what happened when they patched stuff. It's nerfed into the ground. The boy Mike Wall was tweeting the other day, man. One uh, just called me B says, hey, Baluba. Can, uh, <clears throat> Hello, Baluba. Uh, can, you, can you please settle this debate? Does close shot affect shot timing and make percentages on uh, make percentages on dunks and layups? There are too many con content creators putting out bad information. Please help us, Baluba. Yep, he's absolutely right about that. And Baluba responds, close shots won't affect your dunks, but it can it can apply to layups uh, that release further away from the rim, outside the restricted area, for example. And then Swante says. I, I'll never understand why. I'll never understand why. Why you respond to the dumbest questions? <laughs> well, you ain't gonna lie, man. Sometimes you do feel like that, man. Hey, the boy Downworks said. The boy Downworks said. I was looking. I was looking at a few of these today, thinking to myself, "There's no way they're serious." Like who's? Like who the fuck is in charge over there? And pretty much what they show it is, man. They got these. They got the question stuff, and it's just like, bro, like. These these joints is crazy. Can y'all see it better if I do it like that? Nope. Uh, it's just like a hundred euro steps, twenty five hundred in the park. I mean, in Robert Mile Park and stuff like that. Like, who's gonna do these requests? I get it though, man. You know it is what it is. Uh, the boy Young Quavo Quavo said, man. Hey, he says, stage be going crazy. I mean, stage be going when my boy Nike took. Motherfuckers funny, bro. They they don't want to give Nike no more VC, man. They know they can't beat him, so it is what it is. Uh, we got the boy Joey saying six nine won't be the meta. <clears throat> Next, shall let me read all the tweets and start little buttermilk voice, man. Y'all let me know. Six nine won't beat the meta after season one. Gonna be six eight and under from here on out. He's absolutely right. Should, should, should we read those in the Salido Buttermilk voice? I don't know. And that's pretty much all we have for you all today. And now, last but not least, we got the DK Metcalf. If you never put this to your tongue, you weren't uh, curious enough as a kid. And we all know putting the nine volt battery to your tongue, it would just give you a little tingly feeling. It was awesome. It was awesome. Hey, I ain't gonna lie, man. People do that. If you're living on, too, on there too long, though, it's gonna burn you. Anyway, man, like I said, I really got no feelings about this stuff, man. I would like, I would prefer that they lead the game how it is. I would prefer that we not go tinkering with things because of how the game is right now. Like I said, we do know, we do know that we don't know what'll happen if they change the steals, but we already do have a good sample size. And I'm just saying, bro, with the, we not complaining about the fades. We not complaining about limitless takeoff and getting quick drop to death. We ain't compl we not complaining about not being able to bump people. There's a whole lot of things on defense and there's some defensive deficiencies that we are just not saying anything about. We just playing the game. One person did say, you know, like the defense in the game is not where it should be. They just covered it up with the steals. I agree with that. But at the same time, if they covering it up with the steals and they take the steals away, then it ain't gonna be like like what what's what's the defense gonna be at, at that point in time. You understand what I'm saying? So it's it's tough. Like there's nothing if there's nothing if you're saying that they're just covering it up with this or that and then there's nothing covering it up anymore, 
what's gonna happen i don't know man we know what happened last year so we'll see anyway hope you guys enjoyed the video let me know what y'all think down in the comment section man like i said i apologize if i offended anybody because that, that was not my intention we all know chris move is the is the doggone goat but i just felt like like bro we know nothing is perfect dog and like i i, I wanted y'all to make sure that, that y'all know that I, I do rock with yard mind and i do agree with what he was saying nothing should be absolute in any game it should not be absolute but at the same time let's just make it make sense man anyway i'm out of y'all next time man have an outstanding day we're gonna be doing the drawing for the 50 dollars on the stream after this man make sure y'all come through the stream and i uh, like that up man comment uh what was you coming i forgot what we said Com comment pad in your comment section so you can be entered to win a playstation 5 uh xbox and also 50 dollars um you know today and i'm out of y'all next time till next time it's your boy Jay Easy, aka Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ. Guys, please.